Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you the next part of the very popular series where I built three casinos in a very short period of time. And those are the three machines that will be built today. We have here the first one with the golden frame, the emerald frame and the diamond frame. And I will show you every and each of those machines in great detail, how they work and I will try them out with you together. And in the second part of this video, we will build it together block by block, each of those machines. I will try to make it very fast and yeah, let's directly go into the video. And just a quick side note, all these machines you can see here, all the redstone is working in Java, Bedrock and Education Edition, doesn't matter what Minecraft you play or if it's single player or multiplayer, it will work across all versions of Minecraft. And the first machine I want to show you is called Ring the Bell. It's a simple version since I already showed you the more complex version in a previous video on this channel. But let's insert a diamond and see what it does. We get a gold and an emerald. Nice. So let's try it one more time. Gold. Yeah. Uh, basically, as you saw in the preview, we just work our way up from gold, emerald, diamond and diamond block all the way up to the bell. And if we can ring it, we just win the main prize, which is diamond blocks in this case. But of course, that's uh, accounting for all the machines, you can customize them completely. So as we go here in the background, we can see here the dropper, hopper, randomization systems. And we have here a 6.25% total chance of winning the diamond block. And of course, that's customizable as well. So I will take a look into this hop dropper here. We have two items. One is a non-stackable and one is a stackable one. So you can see here that goes for all the, the four droppers here and they just randomize. So we start here by inserting our diamond. It just continues the signal, travels up here, activates the first dropper hopper system. As we get assist, uh, signal strength two, we can uh, power depower this torch here, therefore powering that torch, activating the next dropper and so on, all the way up until we reach the bell. So that's the first system. Let's try it out one more time. Yeah, <laughs> now we want nothing. <laughs> yeah, at least gold. You get the idea, 6% to win the diamond block. So the next machine is a very customizable one. I just call it T Casino and that's because yeah, my channel is called RT's World. So yeah, that's where because there's a T, but you can put here any letter on display. So you just insert a diamond and a certain amount. Oh, that was good. That was three quarters. So a certain amount of this T will light up. That was just the top part. It's split into four rows, horizontal rows. Oh, why do I fall down all the time? Let's try it once more. It's split in horizontal rows. So as we light all the four rows simultaneously, we will get the main price, which is netherite's ingot in my case. But of course you can put there any price you like. That was none of the, <laughs> of the blocks. That was only one again. Yeah, but let's uh, explain it. First of all, we have here our uh, item filter where we just filter out the currency item. We just send a four tick pulse into this pulse extender. We just shorten it down with the sticky piston to two ticks. And then we just activate this torch once very shortly. So if there was any mistake for uh, by the last player where they just like teleported away or the chunks did not load correctly, we just reset the machine with this repeater. Then four ticks later, we just depower this torch and activate all the right droppers here and short amount later, all the left droppers. If we activate all the right droppers here in this row, uh, we can see they are all configured at 33% chance to get the wooden X and so on. So we have here a total, since we have four times 33%, a total of 1.2% to light the whole T or the whole letter, um, all four, four horizontal rows simultaneously. We just have some comparators and some redstone going on to wire all the lamps to the according torch. And with the orange circuit, we just basically dispense our netherite ingot. If we can manage to close this end gate here, and we can only close the end gate if we depower all the torches and we depower all the torches, if we get a 33% chance on all the four droppers here. So also a very nice machine. Just play it one more time. Nice. That was just two rows now. So now the last machine, the last machine is called the chicken tower and the chicken tower is a very fun casino and it's not maybe the best version for all servers since it can create a lot of lag, but I will show it to you anyways. Let's do it. Uh, let's put in there a bunch of chickens since usually people just played the machine. 
So you just play it, just insert a diamond, you dispense 2x, diamond, dispense 2x, and so on, you get the idea. You just dispense there some x. And by doing so, we just have a one, what is it? I think I see a 0.1% chance of um, dispensing an instant damage potion down onto chickens. And if we do so, for each item the chicken drops on the path, so we have two, four, six uh, path blocks there, we get one diamond back. So for each item the chicken drops. So the more chickens are in there, the more likely it is to drop more items and so on. You get the idea. It's basically a game of, of randomness, of complete randomness. <laughs> so and we have here two, uh, th three of those 11% dropper hopper randomizers put in SQL. Uh, in SQL. So yeah, they just dispense the uh, instant damage potion at some point. And here in the bottom, we just have our, our uh, item filter going on. We have here the observer clock that just very shortly activates and dispenses 2x. And yeah, what else do we have here? Yeah, we have here the filter system. So if the chickens do lay any x onto the drop, uh, onto the uh, path blocks, those are a little bit uh, shorter. They're only, I guess, 15 16 of a block high. So that's why the hoppers can transfer items from on top of them. They just sort all, all the X and just recycle them back into our X storage here on top. So this machine should be self-sufficient. And the last thing I want to explain is here this item tower and the self-emptying dropper. The item tower is basically a dropper tower that transfers all the X that get filtered out back into our X storage. Here we have also self-emptying overflow so if we, for example, have here some X, I don't have another X, but if you have a redstone lamp, for example, yeah, of course it gets transferred down. Let's get me some X. If we have here some more X, then the system can store. If it's completely full, all the other X will just get dispensed away. You can, of course, put there some lava to get rid of the items faster. And here the self-emptying dropper is linked to our um, winning dropper, which dispenses us the diamonds. So if, for example, all the chickens die of the instant harming portion, we get here a lot of drops in there. So let's simulate that for a second. Where do I have like, yeah, just a lever, should be fine. So now all the chickens are dead and we just dispense all the loot in here. It is self emptying. So we get all the drops here and that was all the drops from the chickens. That's how this machine works. And with that explained, let's head directly into the block by block tutorial. So welcome to the block by block tutorial and I'm promising I'll be as fast as I can and we just have here some reoccurring patterns that's why I just pre-built a little bit of stuff and we have basically a 5x5 five five starting platform where we have three blocks from the middle point inwards a slab so half block and then we have a seven high and five wide wall where we can see the prices or in this case the T or in this case the chicken tower. But let's start with the first one. So let's go down there. We just add here two of those uh, hoppers. Then here is gonna be, here would be a chest. Just connect the hoppers, ac hoppers according to this pattern. Then we're just gonna build a few blocks like this. Repeater, comparator here on top. Two pieces of redstone dust and a redstone torch. And in the first hopper that is directly above the slab we just configure it with a few of those uh, secretly named items 18 in this slot then one in all the other slots one diamond two diamonds three diamonds the last one should already be in the chest where all your profits will be stored and then we just place here a composter or any other block just to reduce a little bit of server lag for the first design we just have here some droppers um, behind and the bell this four lamps we just go behind and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do that for all this droppers. And here we're just gonna have repeater, 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 redstone dust, then some comparators. Then we're gonna have here some pre-configured droppers. There's just a non-stackable and a stackable item in there, like this, then some hoppers we can remove those two blocks with composters more hoppers facing directly into the droppers and that's basically the first part next up we're gonna have here two tick repeater we want to bring it in so it will just power this dropper here on top like so 
Then we're gonna head on to here with this redstone torch, repeater, redstone dust, redstone dust, block, and another torch that should power this dropper here. Then we're just gonna grab the signal from over there, repeater, another block. Here we're gonna have a redstone co um, redstone repeater, and we wanna power now this dropper here, like so. Just power it, and yeah, just forgot the torch here. And last but not least, we have here our torch. Gonna have here our output. Here is gonna be a redstone dust, and we just wanna connect it all the way. Yeah, it's much easier if we just replace that and go like this. So the last thing we want to do is uh, power the bell and we're gonna do that just by connecting it up and setting it to like three ticks. And of course you can add a note block there just for a little bit more music if we start it. So let's start it. Yay, it works. <laughs> so let's go for the second one, the T. Uh, the tea casino is just a normal tea as you can see here and here we have a dropper with some netherite ingots. In the floor we have the same uh, contraption I already showed you. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, remove those blocks, remove the middle block and then just continue with this kind of pattern. We just have some redstone dust going on, some repeaters here, here we're gonna have some comparators. Here we're gonna have some redstone dust, like so. Here we're gonna have some pre-configured droppers that should look like this, 33%, one non-stackable, two stackable items. And on the other side, we just have empty droppers. So right side, fill dro full filled droppers, left side, empty droppers. So next up, we're gonna have here the redstone torches, like so. And we're gonna start right here with two, two redstone torches here, one redstone torch. Here we're gonna start right here. Then we're gonna block down and go with repeater right into that block. So over on the other side, we just add here a block, add here two more redstone dust and another block. So that's our second one. The third block here or the third lamp row will be powered with this redstone dust and that redstone dust right from this torch here. And for the last row, we're just gonna add here redstone torch and we're just gonna block up like this, connect everything with redstone dust and we're done. And if you wanna check if it works, just remove all the redstone torches here. It should be completely lit up and by adding them back, it should all be depowered. So next we're gonna add in the orange circuit and the orange circuit is just the end gate for all those redstone torches in the middle. Here redstone torch. Here we're gonna have some redstone dust, repeater, and here we can then bring everything over like this. So then we're just gonna grab a repeater set to four ticks, then a pulse extender. So pulse extender like that redstone uh, repeater sticky piston repeater two ticks repeater two ticks here we're gonna have two redstone torches here we're gonna have two repeaters set to four ticks and again two redstone torches just activate this here real quick and then we just gonna have here repeater set to four ticks and a little bit of redstone dust. And we can also put in here and here some note blocks and just add this here like to five. And that should now give us the ability to play this machine. Nice, one row and let's play it once more. Ah, this time we got nothing, but you get the idea, it now works. So last but not least, the chicken tower. And the chicken tower has just one minor correction. It has this uh, dropper with diamonds, with this diamond block here in the floor plate. That's the only exception from the other ones. 
but now let's start here at the bottom and yeah we set it repeated to two ticks and we have also this three by three area you can totally customize it the only important thing is that you can only transfer blocks into this hopper here from blocks that are 15 16 of a block high so only soul sand or for example this paths and we have this kind of what is it a, a, a c shape with this block there and we have here also this c shape with the block there all the other blocks are not accounting for any drops for the chickens so here we're gonna then add in a sticky piston with an observer facing upwards then we go one to the side and we just place it here so if we insert here a diamond we just shoot two eggs out then here on the ceiling we have just a dispenser with instant damage potions in there and we're just gonna place a redstone dust that's where we connect everything up afterwards so next up we're just gonna add here one two three four uh, drop hoppers then three pre-filled double chests with eggs here we're gonna have uh, three hoppers like this another one and then we're just gonna add a dropper right like here some composters on top composter just just a reduced leg and here we're gonna have one two one two then we go down and here we're gonna just place one two from this dropper one two three for five temporary blocks and right here we're gonna place another dropper just like this and then remove these blocks and we're just gonna add in a hopper line that looks like this place some composters and here we also wanna place in a comparator uh, redstone repeater two ticks and that one to one ticks and just wire everything up we can remove that block as well so then we want to add in right here our item filter system so that is just one hopper facing to the right and I know it's complicated to do now but one hopper facing to the right one hopper facing to the left here we're gonna add another item filter system we already accustomed to so let's place a redstone torch and here this time we're just gonna need 15 i guess it was so if the second item gets in there yet yeah, get transferred then we're gonna need some droppers right here place a dropper tower and it should end perfectly in this uh, hopper line we placed here above just forgot to add the composters and here on the bottom we want to add a composter as well remove that last one here so then we're gonna add in here a comparator here repeater and some redstone dust like this observers all the way up and yeah that's right and all the way down like this you see the arrows here and if we place anything here in this select the x here you can see they just get transferred upwards so then we also gonna need to do this make this here a self-emptying one so do that very sorry for that so now it works so let's finish our build off we're gonna place here next to our redstone we already placed a repeater then two pieces of redstone dust a comparator and here we're gonna place a pre-configured dropper a hopper and a composter that's a pre-configured dropper uh, just eight non-stackable items one uh, eight stackable items one non-stackable one then we're gonna place here another one just like this and here another one just like this so then from here on we can already place our torch tower That looks like this and we're gonna connect it to this redstone right here two repeaters redstone dust 
redstone dust. Here we're gonna have a repeater set to two ticks and then some more redstone dust. So now let's build the last sequence, which is here. We're gonna have a, a redstone dust here, a repeater, another redstone dust, then a lot of repeaters. And here we just gonna place in torch, another torch, here the last repeater. And that's basically it. It now works. We should now get, if we put in here like six redstone dust, we should get six diamonds out here. Perfect. And yeah, if at some point we get very lucky and we do that here, we get the potion. And if we insert diamonds, we get some chickens and of course you have to play a little bit until you get all the chickens. With that said, I hope you had fun building all the three or one of the three casinos. I put a lot of effort into them to make them as exciting and as different from each other as possible. I'm really glad how they came out. And if you like what I'm doing here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to drop a like on this video and also share it. And be prepared for more content from RT's World. So, so thanks for watching. As always, there's a world download in the video description. If you came into any issues or just built something and it didn't work, just make sure to check out the world download link. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.